Hi! Welcome to my tube! My name's Marge. You can call me Margie, I'm a vehicle wise clown. I'm an empath. God. I have a lot of tension in my mid back today. I woke up. <sighs> Thank God. That's always good. Not everybody gets to do that. But I didn't wake up with that gratitude, so that. I woke up. It's so indignant. Nah. Why do I have to live this way? Ah. Living the same day over and over. Blah, 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 blah. Wine, wine. I wake up like that. And there's no real reason why I gotta do a quick inventory. What the? What's going on? I got my coffee. Got red and squared away. Breakfast and whatnot. Thank God there's Rick, just R I K. He's my favorite guy, astrologer. I listen to a few girl astrologers or girls that astro women that incorporate astrology with their other tarot and such, whatnot. But Rick, he's my favorite guy. He's from Northern California, someplace. He's a cool. He's real and authentic. I don't like all the flash when people are so, look at me, their content is usually mediocre at best. Anyway, but Rick, man, I highly recommend him. I'll put his link in my, in the description part segment because his report Reflecting did exactly what I was feeling inside, as above, so below. That's what freaking astrology is so important, and I so wish people would freaking know it more, which I know they are, and the climate of the world is changing. When you see Yoko Ono post, whether you believe it or not, karma is real, and... Megan McCauley repost it. That's ma it's mainstream. Spiritual is mainstream. You just the astrology right now because God, I just I all it. There's so many placements. I there's no way I can ever keep track of them all. Anyway, what I can tell you is look at the patterns. Look at the patterns between what's happening in nature and how you feel in yourself and how that is playing out at. If you go to work, how it's playing out in your family, how it's playing out in government, how it's playing out in pol that around all-encompassing, all over the world stuff, it's all playing out the same way. It's fuck. It's a trip, dude. Anyway, like December first. Is any? Well, I just don't understand why. I mean, come on, on the same day there was a 7.0 earthquake. And then, that night, there's 22 tornadoes in Illinois. And loss of life between those two? One? Between both events, I think? I don't know, I, that might not be accurate. But the thing is, is, see, the, all this nature stuff is happening, and we are, granted, lot. there is loss of life. And I appreciate the contribution to Source at this time, all those that have, you know, put in their Akashic records that they're going to go in this event, you know. I don't like the, they, they're doing it for a noble cause, and I appreciate them for that. Everyone that's passing at this time, whenever anyone passes, it's for the collective, it adds to the little, you know, soul or spirit, the way I look at it, it adds love to the solar system makes it stronger ah, vibes higher it's the highest frequency is love so once that gets lighter it twirls people up and well a lot of people don't like that flippity flip feeling that what? i know it scares the shit out of me i'm not an adrenaline junkie it's why i moved from the midwest i freaking hate slipping on the ice that almost fallen no 
I've ridden roller coasters, but I ain't gonna do it on purpose. Life, life is too much of a ride, you know? And escapism is huge right now. Freaking do not drink, God. Oh, the drinkers. Even if you drink, just take a week off. Oh, please. <coughs> anyway, what I think is funny when you look at patterns of history, you know, and, and how they all, because everything's a pattern, everything, you know, that's why they say history repeats itself. It's all a pattern. Everything goes in cycles. Everything's secular. You know, time moves in a, like the universe in a spiral. And so, you know, people are replaying. There's so much nostalgia right now. People are replaying their childhood stuff. And what, and we all just become more of who we are. So, but people have been resting on their laurels, like, because people, I think, start out pretty much for the good part, you know, and if you're allowed, if you have a, that low vibrational stuff, like, you like to freaking hurt animals and, and, like, you know, bully kids and all that stuff, you're just likely going to grow up and do more of that unless that behavior is, that frequency is, is, is recalibrated and freaking readjusted and pointed in different directions, but a lot of people were like good kids you know and then they started finding that if you're shady and you do lie and you cheat and you steal that you can get more with less effort so people took the easier softer way and uh they're relying on the fact that they were a good kid but what's happening now is the planetary alignment's like nope yo nope. your kid is like coming out and you are having to reconcile with who you used to be and the people that used to be good and aren't now, they're flipping the fuck out. And they're going to go out in a blaze of gl glory and be safe, people, because people are going crazy. I mean, it's all over the place. Doom and gloom, I don't have to freaking, I'm not going to impose it. I'm just stating the obvious and you put the stuff together. So the pattern, there's a big, huge new, there's a new moon on the December 7th. And I looked it up to make sure, because I always get it every year. I get it, you know, 6th or the 7th. But the 7th, there's all this stuff about revealing truth and all this political stuff and economical stuff. And all everybody feels all this tension mounting. And that is the day that the moon is new. And it also, in history, it's Pearl Harbor Day. Everything is under pressure. Everybody is a teapot. Everybody is a teapot. I'm a little teapot. I'm short and stout. Anyway, <laughs> but, um, how do you deal with your pressure? That is what is going to matter. See, a lot of people, they're freaking, yeah, it's, they're so, you know, when's the last time, I mean, I make, I boil water on the stove a lot, so, I mean, I listen, I know the alchemy of it, right? You can feel it, you can just, it, like, it gets so tumultuous inside and percolates and then right before it starts to like actually steam it gets quiet and then when I do that my animals get rowdy they get more animated because it's energy it's all so everybody's feeling like that but they're not handling it in the best way so um now's the time that is just I don't know I just am not I am so careful of what I say because I don't want to have to make an amends and so I just am really being careful of what I say. So, um, and I just, you know, and how I feel inside is also, uh, congruent to the, the, was also verified and rich, you know, it's like, I feel there's a, it's like, I have a deep desire to get to where I want to be, to where I want to stay like indefinitely, you know? Because I've never had that. And I was looking for this placement outside of myself of home for years and years. But finally I found it inside of me. And knowing that I can handle any situation. I just get mad when I have to deal with bullshit. That people just... Because people create disdain because they feel small inside. So it makes it harder for me. Because they don't want to do their job. Ultimately. It's just... But it's... I just have to breathe through that. And know that this is the climate that's changing, you know, and to have faith. Everybody needs to have faith in something. I don't care what it is. Have faith in something. And if I, you know, and if you're freaking have vices and stuff like that, you know, I like, 
if you're thinking about quitting smoking and stuff, I would not do it right now. Smoking, that's, I would not quit smoking right. I would hang on to it for a little while. I, I, and that's how, like, tumultuous the energy is right now. That people are so in their feelings, and people don't know how to deal with their feelings. And people like me have been made to look at their feelings because they've been given circumstance out of example, out of fucking, out of freaking experience after experience, experience of just having freaking emotions put in my face where I have to look at them. So I got pretty good at it and I can help other people. That's why I do these two videos anyway. Um... I think that's about all I got. I hope you all have a rad day. Peace.